Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and I am so excited. It is officially November. The spooky season is gone and it's time for everyone to start getting cheerful. And I wanted to come out and show you guys some of the monthly specials, including the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse. And then afterwards, I want to take you to my favorite little vintage shop, Forever Vintage, where they have really cool Disney memorabilia. And I want to buy some stuff for my new home. So we're going to eat some food, do some shopping and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's a beautiful November day here at Disney Springs. Temperatures are in the low 70s and I'm excited to just roam around and see if they've got anything out for the holidays already. Honestly, I feel like October went by so fast and now we're in November and Disney doesn't mess around. They go straight from Halloween to Christmas overnight. So I'm excited to see, you know, what kind of holiday offerings they have already. I'm not too sure about any food items, but I'm sure the world of Disney has a bunch of Christmas merchandise that I want to check out. And I figured uh, we'll start at Gideon's, get the cookie of the month and just do a little lap around. Here is a look at the menu for the month of November at Gideon's and the cookie of the month is a pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. That sounds very fancy. And then they also have the French toast nitro cold brew back. So I think we're going to get a coffee and a cookie. A coffee and a cookie. Here it is, the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. It looks so good and it's actually falling apart. Like it's very crummy. Look at you just, I just, I lost a piece. So we gotta break into it. Gotta break the cookie. Oh wow, look at that. First bite. Just take a look at the inside of that cookie. It is so delicious, especially if you love pumpkin. And the chocolate is spread around pretty evenly. You can see it. You get a little bit of chocolate in every bite. But I love how soft it is. And honestly, it tastes like a pumpkin pie to me. Like legit, this cookie is falling apart. Look at that. <laughs> it is so soft and delicious. I have my uh, wrapper here, so I wasn't just dropping that cookie on the ground. But uh, yeah, now we're going to try them both together. I'm telling you, I love the combination of coffee and cookies together, especially here at Gideon's, because it just tastes like so much better. It's like the coffee is getting absorbed by the cookie and you're adding a new flavor to it. And this combination is solid. I would definitely get it again. For the cookie though, I don't know if I put it like in my top five, only because uh, there's so many good cookies and I'm really not the biggest fan of pumpkin. I mean, I like it, especially during this time of the year, but it's not something I'm like, oh, I need a pumpkin cookie but still very tasty on top of like heading up to the world of Disney to look at some of the holiday merchandise I'm also very excited to take you guys to forever vintage they have so many amazing like Disney memorabilia park use props I even saw a Buzz Lightyear like ride vehicle that they had there I don't know if it's still there or not but you know it's like something cool that you can add on to like a Disney Springs day and uh, I'm hoping to find some really cool things for my house and maybe decorate a little bit I just realized today is a Saturday, so it's a little bit busy at Disney Springs. And I'm not too sure if Amaretz has any of the monthly specials. It looks like they're still doing Halloween. They got Jack Skellington eclairs. They usually switch the uh, menu uh, later in the month, like over here in a lot of other locations. So maybe we'll have to come back and see if they got any cool November uh, treats. Ooh, it's a Sally eclair. It's a pistachio one. They got Jack and Sally. It's kind of cool. Every time I come to Disney Springs for like these monthly updates, there's always a little bit of like a shuffle in the timing because Gideon's and a lot of other places do monthly specials and then uh, Disney Springs itself does kind of like seasonal specials and they usually don't start on the first of the month. Like so like you would think like all the new November stuff would be out now because it's November 1st, but uh, it's literally uh, still Halloween at uh, Amaretz and a lot of other locations are still like in the Halloween spirit. I kind of like that because I'm, I'm sad. I don't want to see Halloween go. But uh, like I said, maybe we'll stop back once uh, all the new special comes out for November. Until then, uh, on to the uh, world of Disney. Hopefully they got some Christmas stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Just take a look at this. Delivering holiday magic here at Disney Springs. All the way in the holiday spirit. Oh, I like this Mickey Santa right here. $129 for that. And then this is another cool thing with the monorail going around. I'm excited for this year's Christmas. Probably one of the big things is this uh, 
candy cane Mickey. This is $79.99. I kind of got the Mickey pumpkin one, so I feel like I should get that one too. And also, I like the little sweater. I should, I should get that one, right? It looks so nice. I wonder if it does anything though. Oh, it does. I light up and change colors. Wow. This is kind of cool. They're selling these little light up ornaments here and they're like plastic ornaments that light up, but you can get them personalized. Personalization available at Disney's Days of Christmas. And I kind of like that. They have a smaller version of the Mickey, but it's like an ornament there. And I feel like I should get one or I should get the big one, you know? Cause I think they're just so fancy and I'm afraid they might sell out. I definitely have a little bit of a dilemma here because there is a lot of cool Christmas things that I would love to buy but I know that we're going to Forever Vintage and there's a lot of stuff that I already have them holding for me so I'm gonna be buying a lot of stuff once we get there so today just might be about looking and browsing and we might have to come back and get Christmas decorations for the house another time they have some really cool Christmas uh, like uh, decorations on top there I love the music in here too already in the spirit <laughs> i can't wait for my mom to come down and i can maybe take her around and show her all the christmas stuff look at this hat that's kind of cool i wonder how much this hat is they got these long tags on the inside of the hat but they don't got the price oh here it is i'm bumbling it 34.99 for a fancy little mickey elf hat a fancy mickey elf hat and here's a fancy mickey elf <laughs> that's cool I have a feeling I'm gonna regret not getting that uh, peppermint Mickey like uh, I don't even know what it is it's just like a peppermint Mickey and uh, they're probably gonna sell out so I'm kind of contemplating should I go back in and grab it just go grab it and then take it out to the car just when I thought I was smart enough to walk away I'm coming to get one <laughs> I was like oh I gotta get it and look there's plenty in stock up here I had to go back and get it and look at the size of the box. I like how they have like a little tape handle here, but I think we're gonna have to take this out to the car. I'm not too sure if we're gonna stay here or maybe just go to Forever Vintage now. I mean, since we're going back out to the car and they really don't have any like special monthly specials for any of the snacks, I think we should just maybe, you know, move along with the day. There's a lot of cool stuff at the store I want to show you. I still keep on thinking, I can't believe I bought it. I got so excited. I'm telling you, and I got no buyer's remorse right now. Now that we're out to the car and we have an additional passenger, extra large, I think I'm just going to make the executive decision to leave Disney Springs now and make our way down to Forever Vintage. I really want to show you guys this place because it's got so many cool Disney memorabilia items, things from the parks, uh, things from the resorts that you can actually buy. And it's in Winter Haven, Florida. So it's about 45 minutes from Disney Springs. But with the magic of YouTube, I'm going to tell porters there right after this clip and uh, I'm excited because I'm going to be picking up a beautiful large piece of Disney art that was in the contemporary resort that I want to hang on my wall and when we get home I'll uh, probably decorate a little bit unbox this beauty in the back and don't for oh, don't uh, don't think I uh, forgot about Gracie girl I didn't get her any pup cakes because uh, it was her birthday yesterday and uh, I uh, wanted to have like a little birthday cake cake uh you know celebration with you guys so uh we'll see gracie but now i think uh we're gonna head to forever vintage magic of youtube and just like that we have made it to forever vintage offering authentic resort park use merchandise and props i love this place it has so many cool knickknacks like that's an apple orchard it's one of the trees from epcot's uh i think it was epcot's food and wine festival and they actually are selling it here isn't that cool Look at how cool this store is. I love it. They have everything in here from old like Disney toys. Look at the Hercules. I love that to like I said, actual props from the resorts and the uh, parks. I see a contemporary section there. Oh, look at, this is it right here. That's what I came to get. That Space Mountain right there. Isn't that so cool? That was in the contemporary along with these photos here. These are all like refurbished rooms and you can buy them. They, they sell them here. You can take them home. Like this one right here, $249. But I love this whole entire set. This whole wall is amazing. But that's the one I came for. I think it's so awesome. And I got a perfect place to put it. 
I'll put all of the information if you guys ever want to come visit. And I think they have uh, like, you know, social media. I'll put it all in the description so you guys can check it out. But uh, also, you know, instead of wall art, I always like to keep my eye out for like cool, like vintage old Disney clothing because I think that's such like, you know, a cool thing. Uh, and I started collecting a lot of old Disney hats, like just like, you know, Disney park hats. So I'm hoping to find some of them around here, too. Along with the contemporary, they have some artwork from uh, Port Orleans here, too. I like that. Port Orleans is such a beautiful resort. This one, uh, Port Orleans art, only $19.99 for that? That's actually a really cool deal. It's something, you know, authentic to the resort. And look, they even have an Animal Kingdom Lodge rug. That is so cool. I'm obsessed with that. I want to collect rugs. I think all the different Disney rugs. Oh, if they have a contemporary one, that would be amazing. Something else I didn't realize about these Port Orleans pictures. Number one, they're only $29.99. Both of these are, but this one's really cool because that's Pirates of the Caribbean in the background there. And then down here, the artwork here is the Haunted Mansion. They're actually drawn, and these were hung in the Pirates, I mean, in the Port Orleans rooms. So that's like a really good deal for $29.99. Okay, I thought the Animal Kingdom Lodge rug was awesome, but that is so cool. Wow. Disney's Boardwalk Inn. I would buy that in a heartbeat. I wonder how much it is. And it looks like brand new. There's all so many. Look at a lot of little vintage knickknacks over here. I think this is a, a nice little room too. Oh, they've got the carousel rug. Shut the front door. Wow. I'm sorry. I love all the Boardwalk stuff. And look at even the little day bed. Got Dumbo sleep in there. This honestly looks like a whole boardwalk room here. No more. Look at you got that picture up there, and all of this is for sale. Oh, I think this is from the contemporary. This table itself, I think that is because these are the contemporary pillows. They also have a lot of the fabrics from the resorts themselves. And it's kind of cool because you can buy some of your favorite like wallpaper and carpets and like uh, the, the fabrics on the cushions. And it's amazing because like I used to look at like the design of Disney resorts and I used to be like, wow, this stuff is so fancy. I'd love to have it in my house. And uh, this place literally does that. It makes it, it, makes it possible. As you can see, they have a lot of the contemporary art still out here, so there's plenty to go around. Hopefully a lot, because I'm walking home with one of those today. That's the, one of the main reasons I came down, is because I love it so much. But uh, take a look on the ground. Look at this. It's a ride vehicle from Buzz Lightyear. Like, this is the front shield part that, like, closes down on you. That is such a cool piece of Disney history right there. I'm telling you, you could find so many things. And unless you, like, know exactly what it is, you would just overlook it. Like, these pictures up here on this wall, this is all from 1900 Park Fair. You can see Carousel 1900 there. I love that. These are from the boardwalk, I believe. And here's all the fabric I was talking about. Everything that you uh, see in the Disney resorts, you can actually buy the fabric itself and kind of do your own... Uh, projects you can actually buy a fort wilderness bunk bed along with the photos and uh, a lot of cool other items too i think these are from the pirates room over uh, caribbean beach wilderness lodge the pictures all around look at the pirate one over here jack sparrow peeking out i think that's so cool well, that was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that I got to show you guys. I came here before, and like I said, this is one of my favorite places to shop. Look, I'm walking home with my uh, new contemporary Space Mountain art. I think it's just so cool, and I can't wait to go home, show you guys. I'll try to hang it up, and uh, yeah, we'll check on little Gracie girl. Now that I'm home, it's time to probably put the Mickey pumpkin away. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually put out the Mickey ornament yet. Even though I'm excited for Christmas, I don't know if I'm ready to start decorating for Christmas. But this is where I had the Mickey pumpkin all the time. And also, a little uh, Halloween Pirate Gracie. Halloween Pirate Gracie's nice, but Gracie Gracie's inside. And like I said, it was her birthday. Uh, her, we celebrate her birthday on Halloween, uh, and uh, she's eight years old now. And I got her a nice little cake, so I wanted to, you know, like give her a nice little birthday celebration and hang out at the house a little bit and probably put up my uh, contemporary art. I want to show you where I want to put it because I feel like it's the perfect fit. And then maybe later on we'll go get some dinner. There she is! 
Gracie girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? You little crazy girl, huh? Did you miss me? Happy birthday, I got a little celebration for ya. We had a great Halloween and birthday for Gracie. We hung around the house, gave out candy, got to see some trick-or-treaters, and then me and Gracie went for a nice little long walk and went to one of her favorite parks. We got her a pup cake, but uh, now, I, like I said, I wanna give her an actual birthday cake, and I, I kinda wanted to share it with you guys. I got Gracie a nice little happy birthday cake. Doesn't this look amazing? This is from Wolfgang Bakery, and I think it's a Rice Krispie Treat cake. I love it. She's waiting. She knows. Most dogs, you have to tell them to sit, you know. But Gracie, when she sees the treats, you want this? Who's a good girl? Oh, who's a good girl? Happy birthday to you. Who's a good girl? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's going to eat it. What are you going to do with that? I cannot even believe she is eight years old now. Like, it blows my mind. And she likes the cake. She's licking it. And she's getting all the icing off of it. Uh, and I'm happy she likes it. But now, I think uh, I think we should start hanging up our little uh, Space Mountain Contemporary Art. I think, I, like I said, I have the perfect spot for it. For my contemporary art, I want to put it right above the sliding doors there. I think it's going to look so nice. I eventually want to decorate everything. I got a lot of uh, blank space or wall, empty wall space that I'd love to fill up with all my, you know, Disney memorabilia and fun little knickknacks. I got a nice little clock on this wall. And I also got this at Home Goods. I love that store. It's really cool, isn't it? It's like a little Volkswagen Beetle. My last apartment before I moved in here, I didn't decorate it all really because I was like, oh, I don't think I want to stay here forever. It was only like I was only planning on being there for like a year or two. So I never put anything up on the walls and I accumulated so much more stuff in that time frame that I was literally just buying stuff and putting it away. And now I moved in and we're turning what well, we're starting to get into, you know, the holiday season and I think it's finally time I start decorating the house and I'm excited about it it's gonna be the first uh, Christmas being like a homeowner like even decorating outside and there's so many things that I want to do I'm just like a little nervous you know what I mean because it's, you know my first time doing anything but my mom my mom used to decorate our house all the time when we were growing up and she knows so I'm definitely gonna rely on her a lot and I'm happy I, I, I'm it's cool to be home and it's it's cool to, I mean, have, like be in a home and just like take pride in things, you know? And there it is. I think it looks good where it's at. I was either thinking if I wasn't going to put it right there, I was thinking about maybe above the TV there, but I think it's actually so nice. It'll make me happy. Every time I walk in the door, I get to see Space Mountain in such a cool, colorful way too. Now I uh, decided to open up uh, the... Uh, Mickey, uh, where is it at? Oh yeah, the Mickey ornament here. And uh, I wanna see what batteries goes in it and then turn it on. Look at this thing. Take a look at how bright this is. And batteries were included. I was kind of surprised by that, but I love it. And I think I like it more than the Mickey pumpkin. I think it's brighter. Well, probably because it's not orange. The Mickey ornament was originally like $79.99, but with my 20% annual pass discount, I got it for like $60, and I think that's just a win. I don't want to put my Mickey uh, pumpkin pillows away yet, though, because I really like these. You know what I mean? I could have them. I could, I could have Christmas and Halloween coexisting in the month of November. I think that's a normal thing. I also have this really cool Halloween radio that uh, plays like spooky broadcast. I love this thing. And you can change the station. Like, this is the witch one. But the reason I say and I have this is because I think I have to put it away because now I have a Christmas one. Turn this on. Wait, I have to turn it off first. Turn it up, and I think I... 
Oh, my Lanta! <laughs> and he can change the songs. Isn't that cool? What's this one? This is so cool. Home Goods and Marshalls always have the coolest Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations. I got both of those radios from there. And another really cool thing that I got, I got this in the mail the other day and I'm very excited because I also I wanted to follow up and let you guys know about the uh, Orlando Informer, the winter meetup. On top of the Christmas jukebox, I also have a little Orlando Informer winter meetup snow globe. Look at that. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, we uh, picked a date for uh, my uh, little meetup for the Orlando Informer meetup. In three weeks, November 23rd, I'm going to be at the Orlando Informer meetup. And I'm going to have my own little meetup there. To anyone that's coming out and wants to come by and say hi, we're going to be doing it uh, between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. In the walkway between the both parks, kind of where uh, the old Nickelodeon Studios is. And if anybody wants to come out and hang out in the park with me, I'll put a link uh, so you can buy tickets. If anyone already has tickets and wants to see me i'd love to see some of you there it's such, it's gonna be such a great time because it's the winter meetup so we're gonna be able to get all you care to enjoy uh hot butter beer get to meet the grinch and all of the rides are basically walk on it's so cool it's like your your own personal theme park if you've been watching the videos i do a lot of videos uh there where i show like where you can just eat for free everything in the park that's like food and beverage wise except for alcohol is all included in your team ticket and uh it's like like i said one of the coolest things ever uh so if you guys are interested in going i'll put a link in the description i think my link gets you ten dollars off a ticket too and like i said if any of you guys are already going i hope to see some of you there but now i think it's time we go out and maybe get something to eat i need a little din din in a shocking twist of events, I ended up coming right back down to Disney Springs to get something to eat. I only figured it's best to come here because you have multiple things to choose from. It is a Saturday night, so I think uh, I might go to uh, the boathouse. They usually have walk-ups available over like outside by the bar, and uh, kinda, I've kind of been craving their burger. The boathouse didn't waste any time either. Look at, they're all decorated for Christmas. And it's a packed house tonight. I'm going to see if they've got room at the bar outside, but it's looking like slim to none. It was a swing and a miss at the boathouse. That place is packed on a Saturday night. And they usually have like uh, like first come first serve seating in the back, but uh, everyone was just standing. It was standing room only. So instead, I think we're gonna go to Terralini. It's an Italian restaurant that I probably haven't eaten at in over a year. And uh, I'm in the mood for a little pasta. A little pasta. They have some live entertainment here at the Springs, right outside the boathouse, and I'm pretty sure the mask is out here dancing. Look at that! Since I have a couple minutes until my reservation at Terralini, I decided to stop into uh, Disney style, look at the Christmas merchandise. Look at this. They got a nice little Christmas sweater there. Oh, look at the Stitch hoodie. Wow, this is really nice. Walt Disney World on the side there, $59.99. That's a good hoodie. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Oh, look, and they even got more on this side too. Another Stitch. They're going all in on Stitch for the holiday season, probably because of the live action movie. I kind of just pieced that together because I was thinking there's a lot of Stitch merchandise and now I'm remembering all oh, the live action stitches coming out which I'm going to be like I'm kind of excited to see it. I think uh, the Stitch is like a CGI but it looks really good and uh, I like the original so I don't know if it's going to be like a remake or if it's going to be like a different story. It looks like Disney Springs did start putting up some Christmas decorations. Look at the uh, little lights here. Oh, and they have wreaths on the inside there. I'm excited. Christmas is going to be here soon, and they're going to have the Christmas tree stroll. And then uh, I think they usually do snow, like up in this area. They put out fake uh, snow, and I think that's always awesome. Like I mentioned, I haven't been to this restaurant in 
like a long time and they used to have a really cool happy hour where they gave 50% off like appetizers and like whole pizzas used to be able to go in there and get like a pizza for like nine ten dollars and I remember I was like that was like the best thing about it so it's gonna be cool to see what it's like you know if they change up the menu and I'll show you I'll probably end up getting my classic chicken palm with a little meatball on the side one meatball and here it is Terralini crafted Italian and look it looks like they're still doing the happy hour four to six and nine to eleven on the inside bar that's actually really good wine by the glass beer and then they have uh, like uh, an opera spritz and then select bar bites I, I guarantee you don't get that great pizza discount that you used to get that was so good here is a look at the uh, menu and they got chicken parm on there $25 eggplant parm 27 kind of looks like everything's in the 20 to 30 dollar price range italian fries that looks interesting and then they have pizza too wood fired pizza so a lot of good options i went with the classic chicken parm or i can call it chicken cutlets with sauce add a meatball to it with rigatoni that's <laughs> I don't even know where that comes from. It's like my, it's like the little neat special there. And, and they also serve uh, a little bread. It's like a rosemary bread. Like, just look how beautiful that boat is. It used to be named after Walt's wife, uh, and it was a shopping plaza. Like, the actual, like, different boutiques inside there. And now, it's just uh, a regular, just a uh, restaurant. Just an all-in-one restaurant. And it's three stories. Like, the, you can dine in any of those dining rooms. I don't know. I just think it's cool sitting out here at the tables. Like I said, outside area, next to the water, seeing the boats come by. Uh, I'll tell you... Terralini's got a cozy uh, outdoor seating area. Here it is, the chicken parm and my little one meatball. I always gotta try the meatball and it looks pretty good. It looks like a nice firm meatball. There you go. I normally like my chicken cutlets like thin. This is a little bit of a thicker uh, chicken, but I think the breading has a lot of flavor. I think I ordered this like last time, like I said, but it looks a little bit better this time. And I'm gonna try the meatball. That's a good meatball. It's got like a great texture to it. And I, I like I said, I usually like my meatballs to stay together. I don't like it when they're soft in the middle and they fall apart. And this is even hard to cut with like a knife. I mean a fork. So I, like I said, that's pretty good. And the rigatoni's good. I love all, I love all this. It's pretty good Italian. I mean, it's not like, you know, Italian food you get back up in New York or Pennsylvania, but it's good for like a like a you know a commercial establishment or not like a family restaurant. I would definitely come back here. Enough of the meatball business. The chicken parm was very delicious. The breading was very crispy, and I liked the pasta. I would come back here again, uh, maybe not so long in between like the last visits that I had. I, I kind of forgot. I, it's a good, reliable spot, especially on a busy Saturday night when you can't get into any of the other restaurants like Boathouse, uh, like earlier for us. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely come back. Now that we got our dinner, I think it's time to call it a night and head home. I can't wait to see uh, my Mickey Peppermint all lit up when we get home. Oh, what are you doing? Look at that face. Yeah, who's a good girl? And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a very productive day. I, it's not my normal type of video, but I figured I'd just bring you along and uh, kind of show you a, a kind of a day in life of uh, me. I mean, I like to go to Disney Springs, but then I went, you know, to the uh, Forever Vintage, hopped around, came home, spent time with Gracie, and then went out for dinner at Springs. Sounds like a nice cozy night. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm probably going to have to get lots of extra batteries for this because I just want to keep it on all night long. It looks so bright and colorful. It's getting me excited for uh, the holiday season.